light, couple drinks, you can give a call. Was chilling with some older folks, kinda chilly, help you button up your old coat. Yeah, you are. And I'm a water in that cup. <laughs> I'm faking her. She was in here a long time ago. I was faking. What we say? People fake all the time, though. I can't fake. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't fake, but everybody else can fake in this world. I ain't say you couldn't fake. Candy in my mouth. So I can't fake. Yeah. Fuck this. Episode 10, um, Disturbingly Random. Who are you? We- Miss Cookie. Wait till you see what I do next week. I'm Ro. Um, yes, baby, because next week is something for your ass, something for that ass. I promise you, you do not want to miss it. Are you talking that. to guys when you say that or women when you say something for that ass? Both. Some guys do like something for their ass. Some dudes do like that. Whatever, whatever floats they both. Do women really like something for their ass? What, stuff in their butt? Anything. For that, for that ass. When you say something for that no, ass. I don't like him, how, do you, how do you feel when a guy say something for that ass? Because you like this, ooh, I can't wait. I was like, what you mean, something for that ass? Like money? So you want somebody for that ass? Dance and make her dance. Oh, you want somebody dance to dance. Dance and make her dance. Smack, oh, you want somebody to do that? Smack it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. So for that ass is very, like, it's, some, like yeah. it's, 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 it's relative. It's yeah. like you don't know which way it can go. No. Nah. Next week, we got something for that ass. Literally. For that ass. Literally. I got these glasses on because I really need to see you. And guess what? Get a good look at both of us. Trust me. Get a good look at both of us. Because it's going to be some interesting shit next week. I promise you. We got a deal. We got a deal. We got a deal? I don't know. We got a deal with somebody? Netflix? Netflix got $2 billion they giving out. We're going to We're trying to get some of that? Hell yeah. Let's do that shit. Okay. Right. Don't get well, no better than this. Hey, man. Um, hold on. I got to let you cheers to this one. Because we made it through a whole season. This hey. is the last episode. Ting, ting. Killed that water. Um, Cranberry juice. Water, paper, straw. Don't go juice. wrong with that. E- eco. Eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. Eco or echo? Eco. Eco-friendly. You sure you're saying right? Eco-friendly. Okay. Well, you know my words don't be right. So yeah, I I'm going to help you through this one. I'm oh, you're going to help me through this one. Hmm. Dude, that's when it's the end of the season. Uh, oh, the now you want to help me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Let that thing sit. Here we go. Hey, man, we did um 10 episodes and they, another 10 episodes. Another one. Um, we DJ Khaled this one and they didn't give you another one. Wow. Um, and another one. Um, you know, um, sometimes she was here, sometimes she wasn't. We're going to give a shout out. That's DJ. Um, she gave us her presence, uh, I think, what, two, three episodes on this season? No, I, thought, I, I thought she was going to give us ten, but... I knew that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I felt the same damn way. No, you didn't. You know, you didn't. I'm not going to kick her while she's down and anything because... She ain't da- oh, she ain't down. Damn it. Listen, man, if you're not with us, you're down. She ain't down. You ain't down with us. She ain't down with us, but she ain't down. Hey, man. She got she... other ventures she's venturing off to. She ain't tell us about we it. We the little people. I'm not I'm not propping nobody at point tell me about what they were doing. Mm. Fuck them. I guess she feel like she ain't had to tell you. Fuck them. You ain't important to her. Fuck them. Who are you? Fuck them. I say that anyway. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry and anything that gotta, y'all want I gotta, me to... I got to mimic you. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm sorry that y'all want me to... Um, that y'all want me to, uh, you know what I'm saying, be like uh, feminine friendly around here and anything, but I ain't gonna do it. You know, we still never did that goddamn um, cream. You didn't bring it. You're supposed to bring that. No, we, oh, we, oh, oh and all some, of this going on next week. Then. All of this some, is going down next week. You're supposed to bring some monostat. All of this is going down next week. Yep. All of this. That monostat cream. That's what the, that's the what the episode. bonus the bonus is going to be about. All kind listen, of man, shit. Listen, man. Listen, the only reason we did this series, this season was so that I could get that monostat cream. That monostat uh, uh, treatment and everything on my head. See if it was going to grow. You didn't bring it. I don't even know why we did the other nine episodes. I have no idea. You got a lot of goddamn nerves when last season you geese me up to go on and do, to, to get uh, the shit, the, uh, the GoFundMe, and you ain't even participate in that on my behalf. So don't tell me shit. So we like a failed podcast. We always trying to do something when we do shit, right? We like a fail. No, we ain't fail because we be doing this. So what? But 
We don't really live up to what we're supposed to do. We gotta start doing that we shit. We say we're gonna do something. We, we gotta do it. start doing that shit for real. All right, next season, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? Let's just make up some shit. We gotta think about it over over the over this process. <laughs> or, over like the break. Maybe we we're gonna have a different setting. And then if we don't do it, we can just say we try. <laughs> <laughs> say we try to do it. No, it's in the making. It's the works. Hey, can I be straight with you? I need glasses, but I hate the way they feel. I hate glasses on my face. We'll get the ones like Ray J got, the rabbit glasses. Flip, flip them down. Out. Flip them up. Like the um, Dwayne Wayne from um. No, his is flipped up. It rages is flipped down. I can't do it now. Like glasses on my face. I really don't like these. So if I take these off at some point, like now, then um, it's you like a professor. Like I need to see. Oh, professor. Like, it, hel- it helps me see. Like I get to see my notes, but I don't like the way they feel on my face. Are those real man. glasses or glasses on the Dollar Tree? Listen, don't play with me. I don't play no Dollar Tree. Put these on your face. No, and watch you die. Nope. Watch you die. Put them on. Just put them on. Just put them on. Just for a second. Put them on. I'm on. Just put them on. Here. Yeah, put them on. Show these people what you look like with glasses on. Look, look, look at you. Hi. She said hi. My name is Mrs. Rev. Can you see, though? That's the question. You can see how it looks? A little bit. A little bit. They hurt, right? Strong. Damn, you made me dizzy. Yeah, see? I need them, but I don't like to wear them. Anything because they feel like a distraction on my face. I don't like glasses. I hate glasses on my feet. Well, can I, you see without them? What yeah. are you, near side or the far side? I have no idea. I just use them for reading. Did you go to the eye doctor? Yes. What did the eye doctor say? I don't say? remember. I didn't want to talk. So you don't, don't pay don't like attention? Doctors. I don't like them. So when they talk and anything, I'm just like, all right, can I leave? Only time. So what the fuck do you go to the doctor's for if you don't pay I go, attention? I go for everything that they, everything I need to go to the doctor for. See? I go for physicals. I go for everything. Let me ask you something. Did you go get your prostate checked? No. Did you have to bend over and cough? No, you're not, you're not, uh, not yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> and I wanted to be a fair, I wanted to be a fair exchange. What if if they're going to stick their fingers in my ass, I want to stick mine in theirs. And I hope for the female. It's not, no. Is it, it always like a guy? That. That's sometimes a female. That's sometimes a female. It depends on what doctor you got to find a female doctor. Mm-hmm. If it's a female, I want to say, like, yo, one for one, or two for two. You gonna stick two, I stick two. You don't think they're with it? No. All right, man. Whatever. You just gotta bend over, cough, and, and deal with it. I don't know about the coughing thing. I don't know. I ain't nobody say you have to cough. My buddy, he went three times over the past, like, two years. I was like, you like he it, He must huh? have had a woman. I said, you like it. But he even yeah, but yeah, he had, he like, he had his ass played with. That's what I'm saying. Even if it's a woman. Yeah, so you ever had a woman lick your ass? Yeah. Just ask that shit real fast. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want a woman. I don't want a woman who I know to be looking at this, and then she'd be like, "Did you better not say no?" You know what I mean? So. <laughs> That's a weird shit. That's weird though. And they, you know what I mean? It's like she probably thought, it was, but but you you be honest with you, a woman, the woman who think when they be looking like a dude's you know ass and they think she probably be thinking in her head like, "Yo, I'm about to turn him out." They don't know it, anything. He like, yo, I'm trying to help all the way out. In his head, he's so like, he's he trying to turn her out by yeah, letting yeah, her do you, that. You, yeah, you bet. Anybody who's tur- tooting their legs for way up like that, letting somebody look at like, you better lick this ass. Yeah, they saying that. They, they, they saying that. Because a lot of guys say, no, nah, that's some gay shit. Like, I don't, listen, I don't, I, I don't know. I've never, listen, I know a lot of dudes. I know a lot of dudes who, who, who are gay. And anything right who turned out other dudes or whatever like that you know what i'm saying like diesel dudes who you wouldn't even know you wouldn't think they was gay and i said like, yo they never they they never said like you know anything along the lines of like yo after i bent that nigga over <laughs> and they you know saying and i smashed him and they didn't y'all licked his ass you know what i mean so that's not a thing that they do his voice be like that i know some dudes who was like diesel who was when taking dudes up? yeah who was taking dudes ass can you try you Nah, don't put it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I did tell you the story once before. A dude did, you know what I'm saying? Think he was he was setting me up for the try game, and my man from Baltimore, and they, they my man said, "Yo," he said, "Yo, you uh," he said, "Who you get that radio from?" And I told him, he was like, "Oh boy, right there," and he was like, "This, yo, <laughs> give me that radio back." I said, "Why?" He was like, "This, yo," he said, "You know, you trying to set you up?" I said, "What you set me up for what?" I was only in for like almost two years. I didn't know like that was the setup game. Like, you know, give him radio, give him some food, give him some candy bars and stuff. He said, yo, he said, he'd be, you know, because he's trying to set you up. He's trying to give you candy bars. I said, hold on, hold on, wait. He gave me candy bars. <laughs> I said, you ain't, you, you didn't tell me that part. I said, yeah, boy gave me candy bars. He was like this, yeah. He said, yo, he might be trying to set you up. I said, set me up for it. 
He said he might be trying to, you know what I'm saying, pull a fast one with you. So that means wait for you to get in the shower and come in the shower behind you? Yeah, then whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? You'd be slick because he ended up trying this other dude. And then I was like, hold up. I said, you're going to try to, like, you know, do something. He said, yeah, you're going to try to, you know what I'm saying, try to get you. So I was like, yeah, I was so mad. It pissed me off so bad, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he said it, that I just, I snapped just like that, maybe, you know what I'm saying? And I grabbed you. I was like, yo, I took the radio, headphones and everything, wrapped it up. <laughs> and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to my man. I went to my man. I was like, yo, let me hold the joint. And then I got the banger from my man. I went straight to him. I said, yo, him, man, take this joint. He said, yo, why? Why are you giving it back? Hold strong. And everything. He's an old dude from out of Baltimore. He was from Baltimore, too. And he's like, yeah. He was like, um. Yeah, he said, yo, um, you know, you can hold the radio until you know you get your property. I know your property didn't come in there. I said, no, I don't need to do it. He was like, this why? What I do? What I do? And they then they gave me the chance to be like this. Yo, what you do? I was like, this, yo, I'll fucking kill you, nigga. 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 And they then he was looking at me like this. I ain't even explaining it to him because I knew he knew. He knew what it was. And they then saw it and sat back down with no radio and just looked at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Mute. No, no, no sound. No sound at <laughs> like all. Like this. <laughs> Look at the TV. And I wanted to know if he was coming anyway. You know what I mean? So he goes, oh, man. shit. Word up. So like about a year later, and anything, he tried another dude. He was putting candy bars on his pillow. So and that anything. takes us to um, the conversation that led with Angelique um, podcast with Tank. Oh, was she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird. That's some weird... Yo, he said like, what? hold up. But I think hold it might have been interpreted wrong, interpreted wrong because they asked him a question and he just happened to answer and it seemed like they just put it on him like he said, he sucked it twice. And he, like, he didn't say he did twice. He said if somebody, exactly. he said, but he, he didn't said, say he, he did it. He said that if, he said, if a dude did it once, he said that doesn't make him gay. And even if he did it twice, you know, because he, he didn't, maybe because he didn't know if he liked it or not. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you something, because Tank said that, and I don't know how you feel about Tank, but how would you feel if a dude said, "You'd be like this, yo, you ever did that?" And anything, he's like this, yeah. You was out on a date with him, and he's like this, yeah. I did it once, but I wasn't feeling it. How would you feel about that? Would you kiss him after that? No. Why not? You don't do that. Because first of all, wow, wow, ho, ho, you don't do that. Do what? It's like that. So why wouldn't you kiss a dude who does? I don't get it. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? No, I don't know. You do what you do. Who said I do that? You didn't say no. Because you didn't give me a chance. What type of woman are you? A real classy woman. That's what classy women do. How who said that? The ones who ain't classy. They was like, this. oh, hold up. They ain't doing that. We all do it. Everybody does it. All women do it. They say, if a woman don't do that, then shame on her. Shame on her. Not a second date for her. <laughs> Not a second date. So that means DJ didn't get a second date? <laughs> That's probably what happened. No, she went on the second, not a third. Remember? She said she went on the second. She ain't going to third. She what was the first one? She went on the first and they, um, I don't know what the first, but she said the second one they went on a date. And That's when they were sitting in the car drinking, right? <laughs> he popped, he popped the bottle of Henny. In, in the, the car, in, in the front of the day, goddamn in front club. Of the club. Yeah, say so yeah. What no, the no, fuck? No, what no, no, no Wendy's for you. What? Chicken Shack, though. Not even Chick Fil A. Chicken Shack. <laughs> he said, yeah. 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 She wanted to go to the diner. When you hold a henny, you hold it by the neck, right? <laughs> the rest of the bottle be down here. Who made the henny? They said, yeah. Wow. Yeah, she wanted to go to the diner. He said, nah. no. but that that just don't sound right coming out of a man's mouth saying like. You on a date and you telling me you suck dick. He like, yo, I did it once, but I ain't. Nah, I mean, that's the end of the date. That's the end of the date. Because, yeah. Because why would you even set yourself up to try one? Exactly. That's my thing. What would make you even want to attempt to, if you know what, you what, like all women and women only, you was like, what would yo, make you go, so what you thought, it was, fam, oh, it was a woman fam. that was dressed like a man. Nah, nah, he was with his boy, he was like, yo fam, let's go be alone. <laughs> Not some gay shit. Yeah, yeah. And listen, if you gay, you gay. But stop fooling women into thinking that you're not. If you're gay, you're gay. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to say, ain't nobody gay shit in here. I love them all. And they think, no, don't do that. I do, but I'm just saying, not, that's a date. I'm, I'm not exactly. doing that. Exactly, that's my point. But I'm just saying, I love all. If, you are, if you're gay, you're gay. And they think, you know, I, I got some gay friends. I got two friends and they got married. And they I'm saying, yo, shout out to Matt and Lenny. They got married and they think they moved down south and they think they living a good life. Cool dudes. But my thing is like, yo, stop fooling. Don't fool women into believing that you're not gay. And then 
you get with them and you know and and you want a whole different order and they got to start all over from scratch don't do that man and they think that just that's whack to me you know what i'm saying i got a homeboy who I, was, who I was away with and he was a cool dude man you know what i'm saying and, and he used to mess with them boys and i didn't like that and then not that he messed with the boy i was like yo you got a wife who came up here to visit you she came on the visit he had a pretty daughter and they'd be in the visiting room and he'd kiss his wife tongue her down ah, grabbing on her ass and everything and I'm just looking at him like this, yo, what are you doing? And they, then, then he'd go back in there and go mess with the boys. And I was like this, damn fam, I was like, if I see you out in the street, and they think, yo, I'm going to let your wife know what you're doing. I said, I'm going to let your wife know. I said, yo, word up. Isn't that called snitching? That's not snitching. I'm what just letting, that I'm letting his wife know what he's doing. And they, you know what I'm saying? But that's called and snitching. No, nah, it's not snitching. Because I don't want his wife to mess around and meet my brother on the streets. And anything, and she he done passed her whatever the hell he might have passed her, because she had gingivitis and had an open cut in her mouth or something like that, or gums was bleeding, and he kissed her and anything with some of that stink saliva in his mouth that he probably had and anything. I'm saying from damn, him. you Who know knows? all the way in. You don't know. You don't know how it's all transmitted. You don't know. Stop trying to act like everybody's doctors. And oh, I know that. You don't know how it's transmitted, and it could have been transmitted. It could be transmitted through saliva, through blood, and anything. I'm saying urine, yeah, through urine, through sex. Whatever, and they, you know what I'm saying? So all of those things are happening between these three people. My man... What are you talking about, first of all? My man and the guy who he was having sex with. Um, the guy he was having sex with in prison. And his wife when she came on a visit. And then suppose my brother bumped into... Or one of my friends bumped into his wife on the streets. But that's like that every day. Like. Exactly. But I'm just saying, if I can help it, or if I put the brakes on it, I'm going to let it be known. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, that, that it's just... Shit like that happens. It happens on a regular and anything. But who really wants that to happen and anything to somebody that you know? And if you can stop it, you can put the brakes on it and anything. So I just tell my man, like, yo, listen, man. If I see you on the streets, I got to let your wife know. You know what what do you say to you? What are you going to say to me? He's like, come he on, He beat homie. you the fuck up? How about I beat him the fuck up? How about that? How about I stab the shit out of him? Because he was doing that? Yeah. How about, no, if he came at me wrong. If he was like, this, your homie, don't. I suppose I put that knife in his gut. Why are you so violent? No, I'm just saying. You just tried to, you know what I'm saying, get me there just now. I, I tried to get you there? Yeah, you just did. How? He was like this. Suppose he beat you up. Suppose I stab him. But I'm just saying, because you snitching on his... You I'm not snitching his, on him. I'm saying like... You this, telling you, on him. That's not telling on somebody. Who is they, that? If it can affect somebody in anything, some, some, somebody in anything who... One of my loved ones or whatever like that. And I'm like this, y'all. I'm about to put the brakes on all that. I'm stopping all that. That's how. That's what they say about snitching. When they see somebody doing something they ain't supposed to do, they rather tell. So, it don't but they ain't doing. They else. they not putting the brakes on somebody, one of their loved ones. Let, let let me ask you something. Suppose suppose since you want to talk about this snitching, suppose suppose somebody was coming to do something to your daughter or your son, mm-hmm. and anything, right? And you was like this old snap. I ain't gonna let them do it to my daughter, or my son. And you couldn't get to the person, or anything, but you knew they was coming. You couldn't stop them from doing it because you was a distance away and anything. Let's say if you was at work, mm-hmm. but you knew they was on your block because you saw your your, your camera on your house mm-hmm. showed that they was walking up to your door. Mm-hmm. Would you call the cops and yeah. say, hey, ain't you snitching? No. Why? Because goddamn, you violating you on my property. Oh, okay, so my brother's my property. Your brother ain't even my in Baltimore, Maryland, saying, where you was. No, no, no. I did not say I was in Baltimore, Maryland. I said that. Well, wherever you was, stories. wherever you was at. Two different stories. Okay, but wherever you was at, your brother wasn't there. But my man's wife, the dude, my the dude who was messing with the boys, his wife was from the Bronx. My brother was floating in the Bronx, New York, Jersey, wherever the hell. Everybody floating in St. Mary's in that in that area, in that circle. So my brother, he would have bumped into his wife and they had a club or the restaurant or something like that. How you know she was in the club? How do you know she go? Who out? knows? Don't matter. He bought it in the supermarket. I don't care. It don't matter. Next conversation. It don't matter. Why are you trying to act like you don't meet people who who don't know somebody else? I do. All right. So stop trying to act like it don't happen. Like it's not we a possibility. Discussed that. No, it's not. We didn't discuss it. We didn't finish it because you're trying to tell me that I'm snitching and they didn't. I just my brother, asked, is it the same? No, it's not. Well, I'm then to you tell answered you. this. So did, why you keep elaborating? Because on Because you didn't say, oh, okay. Oh, okay means like, okay, I get where you're coming from. Oh, okay, I get where you're coming from. Fuck, nigga. Damn it, man. Damn. Shit. Yo, why the fuck was power off any damn way? Oh, I don't know. What power? The the lights? (laughs) Power to show. Oh, you said power. I don't know what type of power you're talking about. 50 cents power. Well, ask him. Why you don't tweet him and ask him? I don't know. Maybe they was on a a, a break. You're not going to stop. Keep doing this to me every season. Listen, 
power don't over oh, the mid mid season mid season finales and shit. Right. It's like what's a mid season finale? What's that? We might as well start having mid season finale. If it's mid season, it's no finale. So why we do mid season finale? Cause that shit corny. Uh, I'm be straight up, yo. Listen, that's just corny. That's just, that sounded corny to me when he said mid season finale. I was like, this how's it mid season if it's a finale? Make up your In mind. In the mid of the season. So you're trying to make sense of it. That's what you're trying to do. I'm just saying, mid season. It makes no I'm season. Just... Mid in the middle but of the season. you know what a finale means? That means the final. Yeah. So how is it a final? It ain't the final. Because then five we're going to be back and going on again next season. My point exactly, Cookie. My point exactly. Anyway, that's just corny. Pop's corny. That's just a, that's just a, it's a, it's a soap opera. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. That shit corny. And I'm just letting it be known, Nathan. God damn it, Jason dead. Jason, I, they finally killed Jason. I'm happy as hell. Jason? Jason is um the uh the plug the plug the connect and anything that they um was dealing with but i'm 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 okay. so next conversation then you can't next conversation because you don't know what the fuck going on i can if i want so what you got what you got what you got what's going on what's going on with you with your entertainment i don't know you're just gonna talk about your entertainment we talked about the angelina and tank thing right mm-hmm. oh dave east i seen that what that about? was that was cute what's cute about dave east his interview so I'm gonna hear what you said. What was cute about his interview? Get about him cute. messing with the um, the two, the the two chicks. No, he. That's not the way. That's not. He said that's not how it went down. DJ, the, DJ said that it went I down. I don't think about what she said. She's not here to the uh, defend this. So anyway, he said how it went down was. DJ said. I ain't talking about DJ. DJ is not here. We don't discuss a person if they're not here. We discuss everybody when we hear the fuck well, you know. Everybody, everybody. She's exempt right now. Okay, go. Because he said. You think she's working on better stuff? You gonna let me talk about <laughs> All right, what I want to talk about? You think you think she on research? She stay on research. And he came back, no footage yet. I hate people. I hate people be bullshit. Shit don't stop. I'm about to put some more fake ass liquor. Yeah, because you bullshitting. No, I'm doing what other everybody else do. Faking it. Faking it. Go ahead, let me see. <laughs> Damn, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs> now y'all getting it. Now you getting it. He you're said, he but said, what happened was 50 Cent invited him to something. It was some type of something event. Oh, 50 in this again. And he yeah. had two, it was, a, it was a bunch of women, he said. Mm-hmm. He said two of them, one of them had to go to the bathroom and the other girl said she was going to go with him. He said he fucked up because they had it in his room. They was in his room. Mm-hmm. He said, and he realized, oh shit, I took my jewelry off. And that's how it all went down. Because one of the girls was putting his jewelry on. I was like, yo, what you doing? Mm-hmm. And then he said, that's how it went down. And then he said, they talking about. To beat it down. No. Right? How, what, listen to, listen. Right. He said, now what I look like having sex with one woman and taking a bottle and hitting another one would. Do that make sense? Mm-hmm. But I'm the only one that got cut and bleeding. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. He said, so people, no, no, he said, no. No, it makes sense what he said. Oh, yeah. He's, what? What he look like. Yeah, he, like he said, he said. Damn, are you people on the story? Gonna, no. <laughs> Damn, He said, it. people, don't play with me. He said, people going to put stuff out there to put a story together. He said, but the shit don't even sound right. You trying to say like me? You trying, you trying to point at me? TMZ be lying about shit. How come I can't lie about shit? TMZ lie about shit all the time. TMZ be just making up shit. TMZ, yo, you know, did you know that TMZ actually, um, somebody from TMZ? How actually, you just cut me off? Wait, no, 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 because I know where you at. I, I, we're going to get right back to that. But you I know, might did, forget. You won't. Um, did you know that TMZ, somebody from TMZ actually called the CIA on Eminem? How you know? The report was out the other day. It actually was paperwork and everything. It was real paperwork. They actually called the CIA on Eminem. Why? Wow. Said to investigate Eminem, to the, told the CIA to investigate Eminem because of his threats to Donald Trump and Ivanka Trump. Because he made songs. Because he made songs. Because he made songs talking about Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump. <laughs> Yo, man, Tim Z. Is that the one that got fired then? No, not Van Lathan. Van Lathan, total, total different story. Van Lathan, they think, got fired because he was beefing with, um, what's the boy name? The uh, one with the dreads? Uh, God, I have to the other that black song. guy. No, the white guy. Uh, the white guy. Van Lathan, um, he was beefing with the white guy. Um, and they was, they was on air, they said. And 
the white guy said something to disrespect Van Lathan. Van Lathan, that's when the black guy he let it go, and, and he walked up to him ear. after the show, and he walked up to him and whispered, and he whispered to him, he was like, "This yo, next time that happens, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying?" And no, don't don't quote me on this. He said allegedly, not allegedly. He said something along these lines, but he was like, "Um, the next time this had that happened, he was like, this gonna be a situation between me and you." And so the kid, he. Went and complained to oh, Harvey. He got threatened. Yeah, he Felt said he threatened. got threatened, and they think so. They cut Van Lathan. They um, fired him. Now, listen. My thing is this: um, Van Lathan. He wasn't the only black person there. I think there's another girl there, and then there's the chubby girl. I forget her name. It chubby was only chubby. two black guys, wasn't it? It was Van Lathan's the only black guy, and they think then it's chubby. Who was um, the one with the dreads? Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I just said that. Yeah, I forgot all about him. God, he's with Harvey. I think they they run the show together, them two. But um. It's Van, the black guy with the dreads, the chubby girl, and then there's another slim girl. Black why girl. gotta be chubby girl? She's chubby. Why Why do you have to say chubby? The chubby girl. Oh, the, the girl who's not skinny. Why not say thick? The thick girl. All right. She's thick. You know what's the difference between chubby and thick? Let it just sounds different. different. It just difference. sounds better. Do you yeah. want me to tell you the difference? Go ahead. All right. Thick means that you're shapely, but you're still, you know what I'm saying, Um, but you're, you're bigger. You know, and, and chubby means that you're bigger, but you're not shapely. That's the difference. That's your theory. That's my theory. You don't have a theory on that. You know why you don't have a theory on that? No, it just sounds. Want me to tell you why you don't have a theory? I don't need you to tell me. Do you want me to tell you why? Want me to tell you why? Why you think? I'm not gonna tell you why you don't have a theory. Why you think I don't have a theory? You don't have a theory because you're a woman. What? Are you looking at women? What do you mean when I'm looking at women? Are you looking at women? Do you like women? I'm a woman. Do I'm you confused. Like women? No, 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 like no, how no, like no. We not going down this path. No, no I just yes explain. or no. I'm gonna, I don't I'm know what you no. There's a line of question. Do you like answer, women? No, answer the question. No, I'm no, you not. Do you like not. women? Do you like women? I love men and women. Do you like women? Are you attracted to women? As in, like a relationship for it? As in, do they look sexy to you? Do you want to have? Do you want to like get at one? Oh no. Do you want to touch a woman? No, I do. This is why I'm telling you things about how we see women, men see women, from the thick and the shapely and the, and the, what was the other one? Thick and chubby perspective. This is, this is It's why. just that it, it, we, it you're still not gonna sounds change, so You're not going to change our verbiage. You're not going to change our perspective. This is what it is from men. Thick and chubby. Those are different so things. Then we have men. Do you want me to tell you what you fat. are? Do you want me to tell you what you are? I'm going to tell you what you are. You're not chubby. You're thick. Sorry. I don't know if you want to be chubby. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if women, y'all look at men and y'all be like this. Yo, he thick. Don't ever. Just say nigga fat or skinny. Just say that. Just say he fat or skinny. Don't say he thick or he overweight. Just say that. Don't ever say a man thick. No, they say Bill. (laughs) What's Bill? What's Bill? Yeah, little muscles. They don't say, they say, I can't, I can't wait the men start being mad about the things that y'all say. When men start acting like real bitches, they think start being mad about every little thing men that y'all say. Men do be acting like bitches. Nah, but when they start being really bitches about everything that y'all say, every little thing, it's going to be great because it's going to put the, put the cork on a lot of shit that y'all do. I'm telling you, it's going to put a little, it's going to put that cork on a lot of bullshit that y'all do. Y'all be really crying about a lot of bullshit that makes no sense. It's like, yo, in a minute, y'all not even going to have fucking men. The even yeah, don't cat call. You know what I'm saying? Don't call us cat call. Yo, mama. I'm yo, not answering yo. to that shit. I know because you don't like cat calling. But back in the '80s, you I don't that. like cat calling. I don't like dog 80s, calling. Back, stop. You know, dog call. But back in the '80s, you used to love when a man. Yo, yo. Back in the '80s, that's all it was. That's the dog call. Back in the '80s, that's all it was. When you used to walk down the nah, street, I used to like. Psst. Yeah, that's cat call. That's cat. Call. That's cat calling too. Back in the '80s, when that was all they had. That you was like this, hey, <laughs> they just giving that up. Now, and anything, we roll into 2019, no cat calling and anything like this. Because oh, everything no. happens in that moment. It's a new moment. Everything now. is this. Everything is, if you want to talk to me, hit me on my in, hit me in my inbox. If you want to talk to me in the anything I'm saying? Talk to me. In, that's like, yo, get out of here with that. Nah, I don't know about that. But that's what it is. You don't know it's about this part. That's what I'm telling you. You don't. Women, but you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, the only thing, the only thing that women are scared of this in this day and age, though, I'm gonna tell you something. The only thing that women are scared of 
and anything in this day and age. It's not men's cat calling or whatever like that. The only thing that y'all scared of and anything is like I'm gay men. Him. That's the only thing that puts you on death, please. Gay men, I learned that. Where you come with these analysis? What do you mean? I watch it. I be seeing it right on TV. I watch it. I watch it on motion. So everything on TV is I real? I better listen. No. But a lot of things on TV and everything is a reflection of everyday life. I bet. Listen. I bet if I bet if if, if a man say something to you, listen. Listen. listen, 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 listen if a man say something to you that you don't like, mm-hmm. what you what you do? Either you gonna snap back or ignore him, or or, or you know what I'm saying? If if you're in corporate America, and you're gonna report his ass to HR, right? If mm-hmm. a gay man say something to you, I bet your ass is gonna to get tight. You like, oh shit, who can I report him to? What you mean? Why? You mean? Who can, you can, why? So what that you got to snap that, back and get clap back at him like, oh, that, it let, is. Let, you want to be like me? Then let's get it on. Let that game, let, let, let your ass get crazy with that gay man. Watch his ass get the HR before you and, be, and, and have your ass hemmed up. That gay man, that so, yo, he had an LBGTQ HR in the hitting community. <laughs> at your ass. Gay men, yo, they, I'm telling you, they got that shit. I'm scared of gay men. I'll be like, yo, when I was yo, when I was away <laughs> as a gay dude, he was like this a New York and anything. I was gonna punch his teeth clean out of his mouth. He ain't had no teeth though. Because <laughs> we called them the crib. Why are you scared? Cause it's like I'm gonna tell you why. If somebody so saw me, no, 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 no. If somebody saw, no, I'm not. And anything, right? I got like I said, I got gay friends. I got gay friends about that. Listen to what you're saying now. I'm about to tell you the story. Okay. Um, if somebody saw me smack the gay boy. And anything, right? For saying to me, um, hey, New York, and anything, right? And now he ain't say it like that. I'm gonna say, it, look how he said it. Hey, New York, and anything. So I was like this, yo. If I had came, when I came out, I was like, yo. And anything, what he say? Hey, New York, and anything. I was Another like this, man yo. said that to you? Yeah. So I was like, in that, in that, in that just manner. Just like that. He did his head like, just like that. Look, 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 look. So when I came out, and anything, he said... That didn't just stop you for a whole minute, like... I went, I was going in the building, the unit. So when I came out, he, they was all standing, like him and three other gay guys. They were standing there, they was a crew, though. And anything, I came out, he said, and he was looking, he was, he was whispering. What was that movie, Long, Long Yard? I don't know, but he was whispering. So I was going to, like, walk up and smack him, and anything, right? But now, suppose somebody saw me smacking him. What was they going to think? He was beefing with him because you was mad because he said he... No, because they ain't hear what he said. So what was they going to think? Yeah, we was messing with each other. There you go. You see? That's why I didn't say nothing. I was like, damn, see, from a distance, people just don't know what the story is. So I was like, just so keep it moving. So you had to play it cool. I was like, keep it moving. Yeah, hopefully he never say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then he did. <laughs> then he did. What if every time, every time every he time see you, he did. Then I got to catch him by himself. And I got to put that thing in his stomach. Not that thing. Not that thing. Not that thing. Ah, hey. This thing. This. The, the what knife. What is wrong with you? You're so violent. I have to. I have to. Because I know some guys were putting that thing in the stomach. I know some guys. I, I couldn't be one of the guys to put the thing in the stomach. And then they would have said, oh, he must be putting that thing in the stomach. You see? Oh, see how that plays out? <laughs> that, yeah. That. That. Tossing his salad. Yeah. All right. All right. That was enough. All right. Enough. Uh, enough. All right, you go too far. Do you think you go too far with things? No. No. I know you're not talking. You go over the top dot com. Why the hell didn't you go to Kanye West's Sunday service? I'm going to go one day. You should go to that bullshit. When he going to New York. He was in New York just recently. He was in Queens. Why are you telling me? I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling nobody that. Why? Because. You just asked me why I go to the service and how I'm supposed to tell me. Kanye West full of shit. Just be real. You can't, listen, you can't lead people when you're trying to figure yourself out. You can't do that. You can't do that, man. That's just like that. Look, why you don't have a congregation? Why you don't? Because I, I know I ain't. I ain't built for that. He That's ain't not. either. He's not either. Stop thinking he is just because he's a celebrity. I didn't say he was. All right, so stop, so say stop saying I want to go to his, 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 his Sunday service. He's not ready. He's not ready. Did you go? No, he's so not you ready. Know? I'm looking at him well, real time. Together. I'm never going to go. I'm never gonna go. You watched it. I'm never. I didn't watch it. So how you know he ain't ready? He's not. I watch him. His interviews. He's a jackass. Jackasses shouldn't be followed unless you're just trying to catch shit. That's what you do with a jackass. Yeah, really. You get your hand behind his ass and you catch shit when he's when he shit. And that's what Kanye. That's what a do. jackass is. Don't don't know a horse is shit. But that, that's not what a jackass is, is it? A jackass is a horse. It's a mule. 
I thought that was a donkey. It's a donkey. Yeah. It's in the same family. Jackass, horse, mule, zebra. They're all donkeys and horses. They're on the same, they're on the same family. What you think they do when they walk? They shit. Well, shit, we do the same thing. When you walk? Yeah, I should have myself a rest. Anyway, Stacy, um, Stacy Dash, Stacy Dash, uh, she got arrested. I meant to mention this too the other week. Stacy Dash, okay she got, she got, but she got arrested. You don't, huh? you, you don't watch Clueless? Huh? You never watch Clueless? Yeah, but I don't care about her because she don't consider herself one of us. Well, she damn sure didn't when she got arrested. She told the cop she was white. <laughs> she mean that shit. Yo, the cop, and she's a Republican. Yo, she got, she got arrested down in Florida. Um, domestic dispute. The cops came and I think she called the cops and when they came, uh, her and her, I think her husband's white too. I think. Um, when the cops and that's Dame Dad's cousin. Yep. When the cops came, they, they must be. They that must be their first cousin too, aren't they? I don't know. Um, I think they're. I think not with the same last name, Dash. Who knows? Don't care. But um, when she uh, when the cops came, they saw her husband had scratches on his neck, and so they arrested her. Um, and because said, he had scratches. Yep. Because he could have did it himself. Could have. Could have. And they arrested her. And they took her out of the house until the next day. Um, and they said that uh, on the paperwork, it said that she was a white woman. See, see, that's crazy as fuck. That, but that, hey, that's what yeah. people get, yo. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you something. So how do you feel about, I I was listening to the radio and on Instagram and all that other stuff, how everybody was coming at Charlemagne because he interviewed Gucci Man. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying to myself, how y'all gonna come at him because he interviewed Gucci Man because Angela the Yee and DJ Emmy would do it. Well, it doesn't make a difference because when they had K. Michelle up there, Angela the Yee wasn't up there. So is that like, you so phony. Oh, that's a phony story. I was pouring more phony shit again. There I go again. Keep pouring more phony shit. Hey, man, stop believing these people. Stop believing these people. Well, I shit. guess you, you, what's in your cup is phony too, because ain't shit must not be in it. It's water. It's water. It's water. I'm pouring liquor, but it's just water I'm drinking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Hey, man, let's see. Yeah, yeah, man, see. Stop believing these people, man. Yo, hmm. they just trying to get clicks, man. You know what I'm saying? That that right there is worth. So that's how that works? That's worth five stories. That's That right there is worth five stories. Five stories is worth 5,000 clicks. Let's rough it. So then why we don't do that shit so we can get some clicks? Because we try to be rooted in integrity, man. We try to damn this, man. Yeah. Like us beefing, like me beefing with DJ is real. <laughs> you beefing with DJ? That shit real. Oh, well, I, oh I know it is. Oh! <laughs> that shit real. I know that, it is. That, that fuck shit she pulled, that's real. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people who just don't support. That's three what episodes she ain't been here, right? I don't like people that don't support what they do. I don't like people that don't support, like, the people Elaborate. who... Elaborate. When, when people... Listen, I've been... I've been like kind of backing and supporting so many people um, over the years or whatever like that, that it kind of bothers me when they don't pick up the momentum and, you know what I'm saying, support back or realize what you're doing. So why not just say thank you and acknowledge that if it wasn't for you, like if I should make it big, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. First thing I have to say is you gave me this platform. Mm Mm-hmm. Nobody even if you, wouldn't, even if you don't make it big. Even if you just, yeah. even if people just take notice of what you yeah. do. Yeah, if just I get a, a little gig or anything, but I, I wouldn't have never gotten notice notice if you wouldn't have gave me this platform to be on this. Or give you the idea if I give or if I gave you an idea for something, just be like this. Hey yo, hey fam, um, good looking on that. Yo, I made well of what you told me to do that time. Or you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta put my I don't need my name in no credits. I don't need none of that. But just give me a holler and be like this, yo, remember what you told me to do? I did it. Look at what I'm doing. Yo, blah blah blah. But Yo. how you gonna know it's you? They talking about no. Holla at me. You got my number. Oh, you mean? Holla at me. Oh, you know what I mean? Okay. One, one. That's one thing. The other thing is like, yo, if I got a platform that I'm building, and I try to do something, and I reach out to you or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you know what? Another another way of thank you is just to be like this, yo. Let me holla. At, let let me get back to you in anything and give you what I could give you in anything for what you trying to do. You know what I mean? That's like if you was to go. Let's say like. You love the shit out of Ellen, right? Mm-hmm. If Ellen was to hit you and be like, "This yo, come do, come be on my show or whatever like that, come be a part of my show and everything, come be in the background, come come manage this part of the my show and everything, help me put the show together, whatever." You move out to California, and then I'd be like, "This yo, um, yo, Cookie, um, I'm doing such and such for such and such right now and everything. I'm saying it's on a small scale and everything, but you know what I'm saying, yo, it'd be good if you come back and everything. You can you know come hit me up and come do this." 
and you said like, well, I'm gonna be in, um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be back in Jersey or in New York, and they, say, but when I come, I'm gonna hit you. And then I find out that you've been in New York and Jersey, you know what I'm saying, like every month or every week or whatever like that, but you still ain't hit me. I'm like this, you want some bullshit. You know what it, I mean? don't, it don't hurt to come. Not, not only that, you can take a flight in and out. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, whether you make it, make me a priority to say like, yo, I'm just going to book a flight just to come do that. Or if you say like, yo, well, when I come. Or Skype. You know what I'm saying? Or any, yeah, anything. I don't care anything. Anyway. You could have did that. Could have skyped it. You know what I'm saying? You could have said, "Yo, I'm gonna try any way possible to get it done." And then you know what I'm saying. But if you don't try no way possible to get it done, whatever like that, I gotta start looking at you like, "Yo, you want some fuck shit?" I gotta start looking at you like. So you gonna start calling out fuck people? I'm gonna start calling out fuck people. I gotta start calling out fuck people. You know what I'm saying? They there's a lot of people in they. You know what I'm saying? Yo, who I know, and they think who you know I, I've looked out for. I've helped out with certain things or whatever like that. I've gave them ideas. I've given them direction or whatever like that. And it's like. Yo, excuse me, I reach out and I say, yo, let's do this, so let's do that. And it seems like, you know, um, you're not a priority. I'm not a priority or whatever like that. And I'm not, I'm not crying about it or whatever like that. I'm going to move anyway, no matter what. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, fuck them. And they think, you know, for real, for real. But it's like this, yo, do you really want me to start saying, getting on that order with you? Do you know how I get. You, you know what I'm saying? You know I'll start... You, you know on that 50 cent bullshit. I, I get on my bullshit, Nate, you know what I'm saying? Yo, and I start, you know what I'm saying? I start picking apart your shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really like to be like that, but it's like, yo, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't like... Like, we we all get all caught up in anything and like celebrities and the people who are already out there doing whatever like that and they getting big checks or whatever and anything and we want to kiss their ass and anything and hopefully they're going to notice us or whatever. But we don't pay attention to the people who we play. Yo, support, support, hashtag, support, hashtag. No, it's like knock it the fuck off with the hashtag support. You supposed to like lift yet? You supposed to pass the baton so the next the person, person right by up. you. The person right by you. They be right by, right beside you. And they, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I break my neck trying to do that with people. And they, you know what I'm saying? And it seems like I'm right back to episode one. It's an episode one. I did this episode. Said all this episode one. It seems like, um, but it's like, yo. I break my neck trying to help people who are close to me and anything and build up that immediate audience and anything, which happens to be, quote unquote, your friends. Um, but it's like, yo, you get so much, so much, um, so you get so much trouble and anything, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to them trying to do the same for you or whatever. So I'm running out of steam with that and anything, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just trying, the demeanor the way you come at them. I'm, I'm just what, trying what's to What's the demeanor should I have? I'm just trying to understand why wouldn't they want to come back and... What's the demeanor? Hey, homage to where it really started from. I don't understand it. I, I don't really want homage. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you know what? I, I, listen, I watch Gucci Mane. I watch Gucci Mane they do interview with Charlamagne. And I thought about how Gucci Mane used to be, you know what I'm saying? He used to like, wild, thug them dudes out. And I think they were scared. They was like, yo, you better give Gucci what he think he deserves and anything. Or Gucci going to come get you. And I probably should have played that card. I think about that. I probably should have played that card, but I was trying to be nice and anything because I didn't want to come home on a whole different page. I mean, on the same page and anything, whatever. Like that. I was like, I got to come home on some new shit and anything so people don't feel like they got to run the other way from me or whatever. But I should have came home on some Gucci Mane shit. I really should have. Right now. I mean, no. No, but his, no, when he came home, he did a whole 360. No, I ain't I'm talking about when he was out before. Oh, he was a uh, wild, wild, wild boy. He was wild, he was a wild, wild west. For mm -hmm. real. So. so how do you feel about, um, Suge Knight wanting Ray J to be given um the the rights to honestly what 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 made what, what made the, him do that yeah what made him choose Ray J That's out of weird. all the people but because Ray J's moms Ray J's moms is she's a real one Sonya know she's a real one people um people fail to um, remember that Sonya know would she kind of sent Ray J over to Suge Knight and said yo get we'll get down with Suge. Over she did? Def yeah, back when Ray J first came out and Ray J was, you know what I'm saying, coming out soft. She was like, yo, go get with Suge. Go hang with him. Get some get a backbone. And anything. Go get down with Death Row. Anything, right? And that was because of Sonya's upbringing. Sonya's, you know, her upbringing is you know, just gang, gang, gang. She on that. And anything. So. How you know? I'm just making it up. No, I'm just asking. I'm just making it up. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just making it up. So the father, not. It's the mother. I don't know the father, but I know the mother is. So, um, so she was like, on some like, yo, you know, go get with, uh, Shug. And Ray J went over there with Shug. 
you know, show, I guess he couldn't really do much with Ray J or whatever like that back then. So that's why Gay, Ray J always always felt like, you know what I'm saying, he could he could do what he wanted to do after that. You know what I mean? Because he knew that, you know, Suge had his back. But he couldn't do nothing with it musically. But, um, so I don't know. I guess, I guess Suge, he trying to, you know what I'm saying, um, get some, some finance, some, some money flow in or whatever like that. And anything, he was like, I'm saying, yo, let me holla at somebody who got, uh, who got some, some buzz out there in the streets, Ray J. Um, yeah, Sonya he Nova. Cali. Yeah, he in Cali. He, you know, got a buzz. He's connected to Sonya and anything, whatever. And then he hollered at Nick, Nick Cannon to, to pen his book, his, um, life story. So oh, that's okay. somebody else who got, you know what I'm saying, some notoriety up you know, in the um, entertainment um, world. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, it sounds like it don't make sense to people who don't know anything who it don't make sense to, but the people who really in the know or whatever like that, you're like, uh, I get it. I got you. Got you. Sure, I get you. Like, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to bubble a couple million real quick while you're in prison before you die or whatever like that so you can give to your kids. Mm. You know what I mean? I would, I would do the same thing. Smart move on show. He's still making smart moves. Because once it comes out, he's going to still get paid from both yeah, ends, the can, book yeah. and the movie. But, of course, if he gave the rights to Ray J, then that's money in his pocket right there. Mm-hmm. They paid him for that. He, whether it be a million, two million dollars, Nick Cannon to pen his memoir. You know what I'm saying? He might have taken money off the front or on the back end. Nick, probably, Nick got money. He probably was like, this, yeah, I'm going to throw you a million. And I you know, and I keep all the proceeds. Or I'll give you a point, you know what I'm saying? Like five you know, I always proceeds. wanted to be a wild enough girl. You could have been. You can still be. Mm. Why? I ain't got you don't the body. You move fast enough? What? You don't move fast enough? I move fast enough. I just ain't got the body for it. You move fast enough? Do you... If you look at all them wild now, girl, none of them is... They all in shape. So they all in, got... So get in shape. You could be wild enough, coach. I tried to do that, but you wouldn't uh, help me with my fun. Hold up. So don't Time go up. there with me. Come up. Remember you said... when you went to the audition and they want you to... Oh, that fuck that audition bullshit. When they want you to dance? Yeah. You killed that shit? <laughs> nah, I swung my ankle on that shit. Because <laughs> uh, it was like, you okay? You want to sit down? No, I keep it moving. Let's go. Hey, you ever heard of gym guys? <laughs> Hold up. You ever heard of gym guys? It'd be a billboard. It's all, it's all throughout Jersey and New York. Gym guys, you ever seen it? It's they like say? No, it's gym guys. They come in. They come into your house and they, uh, they, they, um, they work you Stop out. Stop fucking laughing they, and They train it. you. They train you. They work you out and stuff. You could have been right. Gym guys have got you right. I ain't never heard of them. You ain't never heard of gym guys. There's a red sign There's a bit on the billboards. Gym guys. Mm, nah, and it's in home. It's in home. Uh, personal trainers. But they come to your house. You know what I'm saying? And they they show up and they. they I train can imagine you. having a teacher. Right? Mm. I can imagine that these motherfuckers gonna be out of business in two years. Let well, me tell you why. You ain't kind of mild. Exactly. There's your reason right there. Because the people, the women whose house they going to come to, or the, or the guys, or whatever like that, they're going to come to, it's going to work. Look, that right there is, that's some in-home, that's some in-home uh, sex shit. Ain't that like in-home sex business? That's just, uh, no, that's A guy just... come to your house and he training you, whatever like that, and you stretching, and <laughs> he smashed. And then he bounced you, be like, this yo, this nigga, did he just smash? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I'm a dude, I'm not ever coming to your house. If I come to your house, I'm setting up the camera. If I'm gym guys, I'm setting up the camera. Because if something happened, I need that to be on film. So that you can see, like, it never really happened like that. You're not going to say, like, yo, while I was stretching you and anything, I slipped and fell in you. And anything, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be that close. Yeah, I'm, I'm your trainer. What do you think trainers do? You ever had a personal trainer? Yes, I did. And how, when he be when you be squatting, what he was doing? He wasn't right there. He was in front of me. He was in front of you. Yes. Well, damn, how'd that go down? Tell me about that. Tell me, tell me about that. Tell me, tell me. No, he was in front. Or oh, he would stand on the side and tell me and this is how you when do you it. Squat. He was not. Yes. Why would he stand in the back? Cause when I spot a guy, I even stand in the back. Why? Because you should. If he come down there and they're waiting, they fall on him. You, you need show to them how they do out. it. I know how to. Sp- I know how to spot people. Yeah, but that's different. You you on the waist, that's different. No, I'm talking about when he's squatting. When the weight is on his shoulders. That's what squatting. I'm saying because it's different because it's holding weights. If a girl just regular squat, what the hell you need to stand yeah, back you're there for? Squatting and they think, and you got the bar across your back, and you're a woman, and you're going down into a squat. A guy so should be standing behind you to make sure that you can't catch it. Ain't no way in hell you can catch it. What, you going to catch one side of it? If you see, I have it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see how you on the side yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, you see me tilted. 
Then that's when so you I come and get it. Oh, I come get it after that. No, but in as a split second. Come if me. you see me struggling, mm-hmm. okay, then that's when you know. Okay, let me just go and help her get it up. Mm-hmm. So I should just wait on the side until then. Yeah. Okay. What you think? <laughs> no, I want. I want them to think you crazy because that don't, don't make sense. sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make, it sense. Don't make sense. You ever had somebody spot you? Say yes or no. What when you mean? when you squatting. You ever had somebody spot you when you're squatting? Just yes or no? I don't know. So you really over here having an argument about... You got you actually took a position on an argument about some shit that you ain't never done. I probably did, but I gotta remember. All right, because I'm going to tell you, because I can remember. I that ain't how you spot somebody when <laughs> you when it's squatting. Mm. You get behind them. So gym guys are going to jail when these things, they they're going to get their business shut down. As soon as that shit, as soon as somebody and they, they uh, complain about it. They don't have a woman to go with them? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they got going on there. What you got? Some good, good Pandora? Um, I don't know what they got going there, going there. But I know if they got female um personal trainers that go to people's house, that's when those women ain't going to get no complaint. I bet they're not. Because that else, like, yo, you, yo, um, I'm trying to get trained today. Send her through when she comes. You know, dudes is doing that, but women like only women are doing that. It's horny women. It's what? Horny women. After that, and everything, I'm saying, yo, the women maybe who like you know, she trying to get right. Let's say for chubby, not thick, a chubby woman, a voluptuous, a voluptuous one. She trying to you know, saying get right and everything. Gym guys come there, they get the stretching, got that leg cocked back and everything. He like. And you think because it smelled crazy? What was the name of bounced? that movie? She called it Couples Hot Retreat. Song. Couples Retreat, yeah. yeah. Boom. 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 <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, imagine that guy showing up for Gym Guys. Imagine that. He's going to jail. Gym Guys is going to shut down two years. Let's keep our eye on Gym Guys. When did they just come out? They just, they just came, came out? I guess they just came I just started seeing the billboard. So what's this, 2019? 2019, I guarantee you. In the 2020, gym guys is shut down. You know why they're not going to shut down? Why? Because now they're going to watch our, our, our podcast, mm-hmm. and then we're like, oh, we got to figure this out and do this. I want to see another round that they're going to go. Gym guys ain't going to work. I mean, it was a great great idea when you think about it halfway, but when you think about it totally. So only difference is they saying they, they come not, to if, your house. If they don't shut down. If they don't shut down, then I'm going to tell you, gym guys. Instead of gym just having a gym. Course, gym guys is just their sex service. <laughs> if they don't shut down. And it's because so they like sports jackets. <laughs> what sports jackets? Don't you hang them up? You take them off? Okay, yeah. So we gonna call sports. That they gonna be their new name, sports jacket. Yo, if gym guys don't shut down, it's because gym guys is exactly what I think they are. They going to people's house and they smash and they bounce and, and people call them. They white or black? Who knows? They be white and black. The billboard. Oh, so you think the least, billboard? You think the billboard? Say. Yeah, you think the billboard says white and black? No. Let's see who they it's really for whoever. are. What's it called? Gym guys is um, what's that? What's that um, what's some guys who used to dance? What's it called? Gym guys. Gym what? Guys dot com. What's the guys? What's the uh? Just put in gym guys. G y m, g y g u y s. Hey, what's those guys? Um, what's those dancing guys used to be called? Go go dancing. Yeah, what's the go go dancer guys used to be called? <laughs> what's what you called? And they wear like the bow ties with the black tights on. Chippendales. Chippendales. Gym guys is the new Chippin. What did you say? Gym guys? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Don't ever spell J-I-M. I said G-Y-M. Gym. The gym you oh, go to. Oh, all this time I thought you were saying J- gym. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Damn it, man. The gym guys, man. Gym guys. Would you ever take a guy out? Gym guys prices. Just type, just hit the gym guys right there, man. Shut up. I want to see, I want to see. Look, yeah, gym guys, right there. We, we bring, bring the workout, workout to you. you. I bet you do. Are they white? Nah, just the picture is white. Oh. They probably got a black guy and a Puerto Rican guy and whatever like that. They got 600, 600 plus cities that they in. You see that? I'm trying to get running around doing all types of shit to people. 600 cities. Because they come they to your yeah, house to train. City, no, city. they got people. They See, they take you outside, too. Yeah, outside, too. Two and they got women. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I know what it is. I'm ready enough. Hey, um, so suppose would would you um? You so damn rude. I'm so enough. They want they want you. I, I don't care. You can look at that fella. Hey, would look you, at see. Would you? Now I'm looking at myself. Would you ever go and I feel like see, it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be. 
Yo, listen, man. I, I did nine episodes and everything looking like I was bloated. Don't worry about it. You'll be all right. Yeah. What the hell you mean? Don't sit worry right. about if it. If you sit up right, if you sit up right. That's what we need. We need. We need hard bottom chairs. So and with right. the backs, yeah. With the back. Or you can For sit support. Or sit up, or sit all the way back like this. Yeah, you know my feet ain't gonna touch the floor. Then. I know. I don't like. I, I, I like the beer to get to my own um, paper. Oh, I gonna go like this. No, still ain't. Mm-mm. Don't just don't go. <laughs> Miss Cookie, don't do that. I got to do that. I got, I got to have, have to learn how to do that. So I'm not gonna do it since you want, since she's talking I shit. Like, I look at old episodes. I got it. I got it already. Down pat. Hey man, you have a, um, you have a, if you go out with a guy and 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 you go Dutch, what do you think about that guy? You know what? I never knew what Dutch was. I never knew what Dutch was until one day, me and my girlfriend Jackie went out with these guys. And that shit was fun. Wow. I thought I heard you move. I ain't heard. Uh, oh. Hiccup. Oh. You just said. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what was we talking about? You and all these guys. You and Jackie. Oh. So, the guy to The guy that, that I was... That when I was with, he was paying for my love. Mm-hmm. The guy Jackie, he said, "So we going Dutch." Did she know what it meant? No. No, I don't know. I think she knew, but I Did didn't she, know. Was she from Newark? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, she probably. And I was that. just like, Dutch. So we gotta go take him to the store to get Dutch. She said, "I love it. I love this shit. I love this shit so much." She said, um, no, you know what he had on the other side? I said, what? Go have. I said, that's what Dutch means? Yeah. I said, I thought he had to take him to the store to get him a Dutch. And that's what y'all was going to have on a Dutch and smoke or something. She said, no. That man half on the bill. I said, oh, wow. I love it. I love that. So now I know. So they went Dutch? No. So, so, so if you went out with, if you went out with a guy and y'all went Dutch, how would you? If we're not going Dutch. So so what's going to happen? What's going to happen? He's going to pay. Suppose he said, let's go Dutch. No. Suppose he said, all right, I only got half the money. What you going to do? Then don't we're not going out. Why? Suppose why you're already we... out and then you figure it out once you're at the table. If I go on a motherfucking date and a motherfucker make me have to pay half mm-hmm. my price, mm-hmm. that motherfucker better not call me no more. So I that's promise it. you. Never again. Why? You asked me out on the date, you supposed to pay for it. Right. I mean, I could ride. Ride. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I have treated men before, but... Don't ask no, but me. But that's different. That's different. Don't, I'm, I'm just don't you, ask show, me. I'm going to show you why that's different. I'm going to show you why that's different. If you tell a guy, yo, I'm taking you out for your birthday. Or, yo, come on, let's go out. I want to take you out for a drink. That's one thing. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, he could be like, oh, shit, that's dope. And they can let you take him out. Or you could get out and he's like, yo, I got it. That's cool that you said it. Or, you know what I'm saying? He could be like, nah, I feel funny. Three options for a guy right there. Mm-hmm. If you go out with a guy and you and he like, yo, let me take you out, man. And, you know, and y'all go out, he get sh- 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 cat call. And then yo, y'all, y'all, y'all get, y'all get together. Cat y'all call. get together. Y'all get together. Y'all get together. Y'all get together. And y'all go out. And then he take you out. And the other day we be like, yo, how, mu- how much was your joint? How much was your bill? And you like, yo, it was 32. And they think he like, yo, only mine's is only like 34 and he like put 34 on the table <laughs> yo so he's five to the tip yo what the hell so wait now if he do that right uh-huh. if you don't stab and him, he rolled wait and he rolled with me i promise oh, you oh he dead wrong twice now oh, so if he, if he if he rolled with you and he only paid his bill i'm fucking leaving him. yeah you leave him you leave him asap you leave him and you never call him again. If he no. call, if he call, you call the cops. It'll be do not call. His name will pop up. Do not call. If do he, not answer. If he call you, you answer the phone. You be like, "This your fam. I'm gonna call the cops on you. I'm gonna call the cops on you." You gonna say for what? I and just like, called. You. I feel like I was violated. I'm gonna call the cops on you. You tell him that because you never want a guy like that in your life again. And that's my word. And they, you know what I'm saying? I think that a lot of guys, a lot of guys, a lot of guys want to go out and want to get pussy and mm-hmm. they want a chick just like a lot of chicks too we get to them 
but a lot of guys go out and they they and they want ass and they 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 want to do shit, but they can't afford it. And I'm like this: if you can't afford it, stay your ass home. You know, I used to be like that. I used to always have to, felt like I had to be down and in, and when something was going on, I had to always be in the <laughs> building. Now, if you can't afford to stay home, I realize that. But there's a lot of chicks out there like that. I used to couldn't afford that shit and always was what? But you you get it because you know what I'm saying, yo. You know what I'm saying. You've matured and anything or whatever, and maybe you start thinking about other stuff that you could do with your money, and you like this, yo. You know what? I'm not gonna go out and spend my last thirty when I can just chill and anything. I'm saying, and at the end of the week, I'm gonna have five hundred and thirty. And, it, and I can do what I really need to do that's going to cost me $500 and anything and have 30 left over. And I really, you know what I'm saying, do what I had to do and have that 30 as spare money instead of the only money. Um, women tend to do that, though. You know what I'm saying? Women, they be like this, yo, um, whether it be spending money or whether it be getting involved in something that they really can't afford to do and anything, not financially, but just point of whether it be emotionally, whether it be mentally or whether like that, they just... And not just women. I'm not, I'm not gonna pick on women. And they just, but I know women who do this. And they, they they get caught up in stuff that they really can't handle doing. It's like you know you you, you know I get it. You want to do stuff. You want to go places. You want to be in a relationship or whatever like that. But can you really afford to be in it? You know what I'm saying? Just like that dude I was just talking about. He wanted to go. On, he wanted to be in a relationship with the chick, but you can't afford it. You you trying to you want to go Dutch. You know what I'm saying? It's like how did you learn about that shit? I I'll be honest with you. My god brother, my big brother, my quote unquote brother, he told me a long time ago, and and my ex is uh, her father. He was like, "This, oh man, don't be taking no girl out if you can't take care of her." And maybe he was saying because he didn't want me to take his daughter out, I take care of her and anything. But I know my brother. He was like, "This, yo, like we would go out." I was like 15 years old. Never forget this. 15 years old. 15 going on 16. We would go out and anything. Go out with two chicks and anything. Girl would be older than me. You know what I'm saying? He was like 19, and. Uh, you know, I was always doing stuff older, you know, above my age, uh, past my age. And girls be like 17, 18, and we'd be out. And at the end of the night, we'd finish you know, eating or whatever like that in a restaurant or like the movies or whatever. And he was like this. And they think like, you know, yo, yo, we got it to the chicks. And he's looking at me, he's like this. Give me a head nod. I was like, all right, I paid for it. And he's in, but I was like this, damn, okay. Always pay for it. At that point, I was like, never, never let a chick pull money out of her pocketbook. Unless she say like, yo, I want to take you. Or even not even for the tip? Not even for the tip. Not even for the tip. Not even. If we homies and anything, whatever like that, and, you know, my homegirl, and we chilling, and we out bugging out, girl, she's like, yo, let me take care of the tip. Like, ah, you got the tip. Let me pay the bill. I mean, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, whether it be, whether it be finances, whether it be, you know what I'm saying, like I said, emotionally, or whether it be whatever. It's just like, I think that people need to, you know what I'm saying, um, Spend their, their, their emotions, spend their money, spend their, their time within their means. If you can't handle it, don't do it. You know what I mean? Because you're, oh, right, you're wasting the other person's time. Mm -hmm. And getting back to this right here. Getting yeah, I wanted to ask you. Is that why you put this shirt on? Is you throwing shade? No. I just like this shirt. This is our first shirt. You got these on it. I thought you was just throwing shade. I'm throwing shade right now when I say you need to um, only spend what you got. If you ain't got the time for it, then... Don't spend it. If you ain't got Who the, are you talking to... Uh, her. Um, Who's that? And, and other people. You know what I'm saying? DJ. Uh -huh. DJ, she fall on that. And anything. It's like, yo, if you ain't got the time, if you ain't got the, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the wherewithal, then get the hell up out of there. Stop, you know what I'm saying? Don't shop in that store. Point blank. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't spend your, you know, don't, don't get other people invested in, you know, your bullshit and anything. If you ain't really got the time, the, the wherewithal, the, the emotion, the, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't over some other shit, if you ain't, if you involved in something or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? And you can't really invest yourself wholeheartedly in something, you can't afford it. Get up out of there. You know what I mean? Just be honest Don't about it. Yeah, be honest about it. Don't come in there in the first place. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you leave people sitting there looking crazy. You know? Um, that's just that's just me. So I got another question for you. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think about the Iggy, Excel and Cardi B? I didn't know much about that. So you told me about that today. I know Iggy was kind of half apologizing to uh, Meg the Stallion because of uh, something, but I didn't know the whole thing about Cardi B. When you sent me that name, I was like, that's new. That's new. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy been messing up ever since she talked shit to, um, to Q-Tip a couple of years ago. 
But that was a uh, tip artist, so now what happened? No, that was T.I.'s artist. Yeah, tip. But I said she talks shit to Q Tip. I just said tip. Two different people. Yeah. Q Tip and T.I. Two different people. And what do T.I. call she, herself? Tip. I know, but she talks shit to Q Tip. I know. I heard you say that. But I'm saying now, is she still T.I. artist? No. He cut her. He released her? Yeah, he released her. So now she's just out she's there. She's just floating. But you, did you know that Iggy Azalea, uh, Iggy Azalea sold 38 million records? I can believe it. That's crazy. So she telling everybody because I was anyway. She's like, I don't really need y'all. Everything goes up, comes down. Yeah, you yeah, know. If she put that money in something else, she'd be all right. Yeah. What do you think she should put it in? Who knows? There's a million other things that you can put money in that you're going to make money if it ain't got to be hip hop. Mm. A million other things. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, you know who Gina Rodriguez is from um, Fast and Furious? Oh, Cardi B gonna be in the Fast and Furious, the new one. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, it. that's the guy. Yeah, Cardi B gonna be in there. How do we be having them getting these in, uh, outlets like this? Once you in, you in. Once you, once you once get you, in, you in. Once you in, you in. You in, you in. So I just need yeah. to get in. Once you get in, you go in. You, everything else gonna come to you. Once you in, you in. Well, how do I get to get in? Well, that's the whole thing. You gotta have your ass. You gotta make yourself relatable. When people start realizing who you are. You don't feel that? Okay. Um, once you start... You is really... I, I really... I see you. I see you. I you see you. I see you. Like? No, I did oh. not. Because if I felt it, don't you think I would have moved just it? Sitting on your face like, yeah, yeah, like that. That's don't you crazy. think I would have moved it? I don't know if I could live like that. <laughs> I don't know if I could live like that. But yo, Gina Rodriguez, the Puerto Rican girl um, from Fast and Furious. She was a cute Puerto Rican girl. Amazing. She's dope. But um, she did... She was singing a song... Um, while she was in the salon or whatever, getting nails on head or whatever. Um, and she and that's said, when Cardi B came in there or something like that? No. Oh, and she no. said, this whole thing. Um, and she said the N word, she said nigga, and Ooh. everybody went crazy or whatever, like, whatever like that. But um, I don't understand that. Like, she's from the Bronx. She grew up in the Bronx. Puerto Rican. She grew up around black people. That was just like Puerto when they like, made Puerto that big deal like with J, um, J, J, Jenny J Lopez and, um, what is it? Uh, Jaru. Jaru. That's different. Know why? I know why. I'm going to tell you why. Because um, Gina Rodriguez, she grew up in the Bronx. She ain't too far removed from it. She ain't trying to get away from it yet. Yet. From the I mean, Bronx? Yet. She's not trying to get away from the ghetto yet. She's getting her head done in and all of that and whatever. And she was saying the lyrics. I said, nigga. J-Lo, at that time, she wasn't with Puff no more. She was with Ben Affleck. You can't be with Ben Affleck saying nigga no more. If you was with Puff, you had to pass. You know what I mean? So it's a pass if you were with a black man. There you go. Yeah. 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 Because you just, just throw it out there like that. Yeah. No. Because yeah. that means you're going to be saying that shit when you ain't with me. No. Nah. Yeah. Not true. Yeah. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. You don't think so. I mean, she shouldn't. If she do now, she got to get chastised. But I'm saying, if you, if you saying it and anything, I'm saying the only way that you got to pass is if you got somebody walking you through the door. That's just like me. Look, that's that's like. <laughs> so is that like when had the guy? I forgot. It was on the internet. He was saying something about the internet. You know. You I mean, know. not the internet, but, but um, yeah. social media. I forgot who he said can't come down there to. They got to pay him to come to um, Cali. He not a lot of Cali. Country six nine. No, I don't think it was him. It was somebody else. But everybody said it. It's like you got to have a pass to do everything. But why do I have to have a pass? Don't have it. Don't I'm, have I'm just asking that's just why. Like, that's just like, now look. No, but answer the question I'm, why. I'm going to tell you. Okay, go ahead. That's just like if I was to go up to certain parts of, of, of Newark and anything, whatever like that, and I don't know nobody. Come down the block, and there's dudes outside on the block or whatever like that, and I don't know nobody down that block. What are you going on the block for? There you go. What's she doing saying nigga? That's two different things. I'm it's the same before. exact thing. Why you not? Why don't you know how to relate two things? That has two. Well, things. obviously, I don't learn. I'm trying. I'm to trying. Teach you. It, listen, my connecting the dots is different. Just because, listen. No. Try, but try. try I try. Your damn this. But I try. try your damn that, this. That, that, maybe just, maybe your scenarios don't don't make sense to me, so I can't connect my dots. So maybe I well, need somebody then, to interpret it a different. Well, I need my uh, translator. Yeah, I need a tra I got a translator. You know I got a personal translator. I know you do, but you're going to always run into brick walls no, and everything if you don't try to make sense I of things. I do make sense of stuff. Sometimes I don't have to make sense of everything. Maybe everything don't make sense to me. That's my point. 
if you don't try to make sense of why do I have to always make sense because that's what you want me to do? No, no. no all no, right no, then. No. All right then. I don't have to make sense of it if I want to. Well, if y'all want to make sense of it, and then, since she don't want to, what I'm trying to say is, well, you get it. <laughs> you get it. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying. Ain't don't no way. that. You know, I have to talk to people and anything. If you're not going to get it, then I got to let them get it. I didn't say I didn't get it. I just said sometimes I don't get it. Okay. Do you get it now? I don't know what you were talking about. Why she can't say, why Gina Lopez can say, oh. I mean, Gina Rodriguez can say nigga. Oh, okay. J-Lo got chastised for it. Okay. J-Lo wasn't with Puff no more. J-Lo was with Ben Affleck. Okay. You can't take yourself over. Back then, they was looking But I guess like, they figured because she was with Jaro, they, they made the video. Yeah. That's what she thought. But they was like, this, yo, you already crushed yourself over into White World with Ben Affleck. So how do you think you're going to be running around saying nigga? Don't go white and then you can say nigga because you're trying to show him. Like, Yo, look, I can still say it. Look, 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 look. I can still say it. He's like, nah, no, you can't. You can't still say that. Mm. So that was like, you know, smacking on the ass. Like, Yo, you better get out of here. And then they still let her back in anyway. Look at her now. So she still do what she want to do. Mm-hmm. No, so, they are. But yeah, I don't know why they came at um, Gina Rodriguez and anything in the first place. It's like, Yo, leave her alone. She said what she want to say. She grew up in anything around black people. And the Puerto Ricans is light-skinned black people to me. You know, they've been through the struggle. So leave it alone. Uh, that's just what I feel like. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, hey, would you have, if you ever wrote a book, would you ever out your friends? Would you ever just bring to a book or your friends out? Yeah, I'm just going to tell all the dirt. Would you do that? Mm-mm. No. Why? That's the move. That's what people do to make money. That's their move. I don't, why? Because now I'm giving them clout. Why are you getting mad? I'm just trying to ask you a question. Oh, good. Huh? I don't need that. Not clout. Then they, then they gonna want, they gonna want some money you because you don't I don't money. You don't have to give them money. Well, because you don't say their name. Yeah, it, it's your book. They know it's, they know it's, it's them. Matter. They can know what they want, but you got a book. But can't they, can't they no, sue they you and no, say no, it is no, me? No, they cannot. No, they can't. So as you just say, my friends, I grew up with some friends. I grew up with four friends and blah blah blah. Just standing there, you talk about, you know, what I'm saying your four friends, and but you never mention their name. Hmm. Would you ever do that? That's the move. That's the Hollywood move. If you're trying to get to Hollywood, you better get your ass ready. you trying to get there, you better get your ass ready <laughs> to write your book about your mem- your memoirs about your friends and stuff like that and change their names or these friends or some people I grew up with. You're going to mm. get ready. Mm. You know who you're going to talk about? Who am I going to be? Him. That's going to be my name, him. <laughs> him downstairs. Him, him downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're gonna to talk crazy. Oh, let me see. Who? How would I... Edit a lot of people's name out. Ooh. That's, that's easy. That's the easy part. You write their names first. You write the whole book, put their names in, and then you go through the book, and then you start snatching them. And they be like, this crazy it. bitch had an artist who had to write a book about me, and that not, picture wasn't right herself. That was a scratch in my face. Oh. Um, so now they're going to be mad. So that's when they be mad. They try to come out with their book, or they be on talk shows, and then people want your story after that, and they get you back on the talk show. And do the story. Yo, that's worth ten. That's worth like 20 interviews right there. Ten, hmm. ten, ten for them spread out and, and ten for you by yourself. Hmm. Ain't that crazy? And hmm. you see how the game works now? That's the new game. That's the new wave. That's the new wave. Talk shit about your friends. <laughs> In your book. Ain't that crazy? I gotta write the book right. Yeah, just write the fucking book. Who cares? Write it. Mess it up first. And just go back through it and edit it. Redo it to go all over again. But how do you start it? So I had Once these friends. Time. So I had, yeah, start off just like that. Start off just like that. Say when no, the, no, 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 you start, no, no, you start just like that. Say, once upon a time, I say, yo, when was the last time a book was started off with once upon a time? Well, this book starts off with once upon a time. And that's how you start your book. There's your book right there. That's how you start it. You just want me to have me in the house this winter just writing this shit out yeah, that book. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Um, self-publish well, it. Oh, um, I'll publish it for you. I'll publish it on the Zay Media. Hey, listen, um... Well, shit, my son said, well, why are you going to let me pu- publish it under his? You want to do it under his? No, I ain't going to do it. going to be your boss. Hell. Hey, um, Instagram. Instagram, um, they're about to take all those filters away. So people are going to be exactly who the hell they are. You're going to see all these crazy looking chicks. Why are they going to do that? <laughs> That's why. So t- that face right there. That's so that mean we got to go back to Snapchat and get the filters? About to, Snapchat about to take them away, too. They're wow. going to follow. They cute you. filters. Yeah, you ain't got no more bunny ears, you motherfuckers. <laughs> ain't nobody going to be on Instagram no more. People going to be exactly who they well, are. Well, they were. They just posted they, they, pictures. They, they, said that, they said what it's really doing is um, it's like messing with people's um, 
they said their self image and like their they, their self esteem how they really you know feel like they look. So they said, in that case, then you got all these women that's posting how they getting their bodies done and drinking them. these teas and they, stuff. They, they, so what's they, the nah, they, they saying if you really if you if you look like that, that's how you're gonna look. If you got to use a filter, you're not gonna be able to use no filters. I don't use a filter because they be cute like cute. That's the point that I'm making. If you want to be that cute, be go get the It don't one. make me slim. I ain't, they, I ain't found no filter that did that bullshit yet. But shit, it wouldn't work because they, they see that on my Instagram page. They see me on Why camera like... Why you sit on the sink? On the sink? Yeah. And sit, do what? Sit your butt on the sink in the Instagram pictures. And do and what? They, I don't know. That's what the chicks do. They sit their butt on the sink. One butt cheek on the sink so they can show the fat and so... And you know, the hip and look back. So my shit ain't fair. My shit thing. all sagging. I don't mind if I see no sagging ass sitting on the sit, sink. I think a lot of it is, is, but when they sit on the sink. Same like, ain't her shit supposed to be sitting up? Why her shit hanging butt, over the sink? Is it, it's in the sink. <laughs> Damn. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yo, you a mess, man. I just keep it in real. It feel good to be honest about myself, cause I used to never want to be honest about myself or talk about myself and try to That's hide what, shit. Don't, don't you think like that whole like when they when they change the filters when they allow not don't allow the filters to be done on Instagram, they going um like Thotten's going to be dead in a minute. Thotten's going to be dead in a minute anyway. No matter what, I'm gonna yeah, tell you why. That thing will never be dead. Nah, That's Thotten. just like tricking and prostitute. They ain't never go away. I'm gonna tell you why Thotten's going to be dead. I'm on some real. Why do you think that's gonna be dead? That's gonna be dead because everybody's a thought now. Your thought? No, what I'm saying is like you just said everybody's a thought. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying everybody like like everything that thoughts used to do what that, that made do? them stand out like sitting their ass on a sink. Oh, that's a thought. That's thought behavior. Um, I didn't know that. Like 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 chicks smashing early and anything like right as soon as they meet a dude. All of the things. What would you what would you consider to be a thought? What would you consider when you looked at when you said when you said the chick was a thought? What made the chick a thought? You know, I never had a, I never sat down and thought that through. Right, let's take that thought word away then, because that's new age um, ver- verbiage. So, what makes a chick a hoe? They say they're constantly sleeping with all these different men. That's what chicks do now. <laughs> that's what everybody do now. Hmm. So it's like all of that's gone. All of that that whole behavior is not. It's not crazy no more. If everybody is doing it, then mm-hmm. you take away, you take away the stigma of it, right? So now everybody's one. So you can't call nobody, you know what I'm saying, that name no more. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. I don't know. And, and and I'm just saying, like that's just why they call it social engineering. Because when you look at Instagram, Facebook, or whatever like that, and you start seeing like all of the chicks doing it. Like there's nobody out there don't have that don't have a sex tape no more. Everybody got a sex tape. At least ninety percent of the people in the world got a sex tape. Because Kim Kardashian said it was okay to have one. She didn't say that. Well, she made it. She made it okay to have one because it's success. She showed that a woman can have a sex sex, sex tape out and become successful. So now everybody got a sex tape, and they like. I think that uh, yeah, like I, I said, it's. Um, Tatiana fucked up. Tatiana. Yeah, I think. I think it's a. Uh, I think social in- engineering and anything it kind of. Makes us believe that the whole thought shit, like thoughts and holes and whatever like that, and um, is the way to go. That's how women are supposed to be. Mm, nah. And even I think that I think it's it's doing it number on guys too. Like guys kind of think that they're supposed to behave like how um, the rappers behave. So you see guys and they be running around doing all this stuff the rappers do. Like you see a guy going to the club and he do all of this like this. That's what the and money. You know what I'm saying, yeah, doing that with the money. He's seen that in the video, and, they, and then he he and you see him in a baby shower or whatever like that. He doing like this in a baby shower. Yeah, or you see yeah, or you see him at a wedding. You see guys at weddings and everything. They pull out money. Or you see what you be like? Yo, hold on, wait, what? That's not supposed to be here. The, the, exactly. The, the, the My point. type of people there. My point exactly. But that, but you can't. You, you, they say you can't choose your friends. You can't choose your friends. You your know friends who to you. Uh-huh. You just know who to invite. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. It just you start seeing people do things the most, the, the weirdest shit in the, the the most regular places. The behaviors and everything regular change. Regular schmirkler. Regular So let's talk about Chris Brown want to well, let's, do, yeah, um, well, let's do this a before. garage sale at his house. Did you go? Or would you go? Hell yeah, I would go. But no, did I go? No, I didn't go. But my thing was, why would you, why would you 
Why would you want to have it at your house when not everybody knows where you live at? You, think you already have somebody. Chris don't care about that shit. No, no. Chris gang, gang, gang. You don't care about that shit. You don't think Chris? You think Chris care about that shit? Chris don't care about that shit. He said he's so. No, he's see, so. yeah, I will buy something because you know why to be worse on. I, I could, when I get like I down and out broke, I could put it on eBay. I would, I would buy shirt. I buy his art. I heard he got he got some nice art pieces that he's done. So I would buy that. Do he sell them? Yeah. I'm saying you could mm-hmm. buy it now. If he was at the garage, sure. Yeah. Shit, I guess. I'm just saying, in general, you can't order something. I, I don't know if he's doing that. I don't know if he's got a gallery in here or whatever. Mm. Yo, man. Um, yeah, 50 Cent is pissed off, huh? About that? No, man. About what? Because they took it off. Um... I tried to talk about that. You don't want to talk about that. That was the first thing I brought up about power. You don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, you don't want to talk about, about? Yeah. You don't okay. want to talk about power, remember? Okay, go Done ahead. with that. Yeah, done with that. Um, anyway, we get to the end of the show. What, you scared to say bye to the people? You're scared now, right? Because it's the last show. Of the season, it ain't the right? last. It is show. No, it's not. But you want to do a bonus show? Yeah. But you want to do some Halloween shit? Yeah. Da, 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 da. She's so strong da, da, da. Yo, did you I go agree. to the Did you go to the erotica show, the exotica show down at um, Rowden Center in Jersey? I know about that. Yeah, what it was, was, all, it? All, it was all, all of the porn stars were down. In Why the you ain't telling me that? God damn! You, you don't know me. You know you kill me telling me shit at the shit. I, I, Look, pipe that pipe down because you piped up too much. But um, you was, you went hell to the year. You, you, you I could have bought some shit. You could have you went and took a picture with Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. Oh, oh my hair was is? pink too. You know who Pinky is? They say I look like her. You do. That's why I said that. So we could have took a picture and my hair was pink. You know that would have been dope. So she said, let's do a movie together. Would you have done it? No, because my stomach is dead. So she said she don't care. Would you have done it? No, I got morals. You think you have to lose your morals to be a porn star? Yeah, I don't want everybody seeing me. Like I, I said, kids. everybody, like I said, yo, thoughts are dead. Thoughts are dead. Everybody's one now. It's okay to be that way. I don't feel like you have a thought. You don't feel like it? All right. You feel like ending your show? Nope. We got to. Why? Wow. The camera gonna die. The battery's gonna die. The camera gonna die? Yeah, well, you gotta get a better camera then. Hell no. We shot for, we shot for over an hour already. So what? It's so hard to say goodbye. Let me get that out your face again. Let me show you how I wear it, okay? Right, show me how you do it. And like that little piece up over the eye like that. So if you're going to do it, do it right. Okay. Oh, and the, oh the eyebrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, I, got it. Yeah. I guess before I go, I got to be able to see. Yo, man, let's uh, finish this up. Clock can't. Yeah, let's finish this up. Um, Episode 10. A wrap is in a bag. Season two, done. Yeah. Come back for season three. You know, gonna take a little break. We gonna fifty. If fifty and power and them could do it, and anything, then we could do it. Don't you try to smirk your damn face just because we said the season is over. All right? We ain't we, over. The season is over, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna be. A, we're gonna put a twist on it next year. Cause see, I'm I'm perfecting my craft. I'm opening up. I'm coming out of my shell. I'm not caring anymore. I don't care. Talk Hopefully I've been lost some weight. You lost maybe. weight already. Yeah, a little more, but maybe. You wanna, how, uh, how big do you want? How would you want to get down to your your birth weight? Six pounds, seven ounces. That was never... How much? I gotta look at my birth certificate yeah, and see how much I wore. <laughs> yeah, do that. And then maybe I, yeah. I, I can figure out my path in my career life. All right, you, you know your know path, your career. Stop sounding like you don't know what you want to do. Uh, hey, man, listen. I'm going to show you my binder. Hey, if, yeah, binder. Hey, yeah, if anybody... so many things I don't went to school for and still ain't mastered that shit yet. You and... you, you didn't master it. You just don't do nothing with it. All right? So let's do that. For, in the break... How you going to tell me what break, I... The how break, you going to tell me break, that? During the break between one season to the next and anything, what you're going to do is you're going to do something with what you know how to do. You're actually going to put your foot in the door instead of just saying, like, hey, I'm at the door with these certifications and these uh, licenses and stuff. You're going to do something with it. Oh, in the meantime, sure. if anybody looking for somebody to play a, a role in their, um, in their um, oh, your web series. Oh, your boy Let me, let me, relax, relax, relax. Oh, my God. Here we go. If, anybody's looking, if, anybody's, if, anybody's, if anybody's looking for somebody to play a part in their web series and they can try her. 
All right, you can see her um her information down in the um in the the liner notes or the bio and anything or whatever it is the credits. Of this, I want the uh, acting class. She went to acting class. She's ready. Um, she want to get her. She want to get out there. All right, this is Miss Cookie, the entertainer. That's M Z K U K Y M Z dot K U K Y underscore T H E, and then spell entertainer and mm-hmm. anything after that. All right, um, on Instagram. All right, you can find her there. Um, she's on uh Twitter as well, Miss Cookie. M Z K U K Y. And I went to school for bartender. It has nothing to do with the acting thing. But she does But bartender. I can be your private I can be your private bartender. Yeah, your stomach is saying that it. too. Yeah. Ho- be a I wonder if, maybe. Hey man, we up out of here, man. This is the end of this um the episode, end of the season. Um this is Miss Cookie. I'm Ro. Um and that's just how it go. We it's only going to be us again next season, maybe. Hey, shout out to all of the viewers. Shout out maybe, to all of the... Maybe the not. Supporters. Shout out to all of the listeners. Shout out to the YouTube, the Spotify, the Anchor people. Shout out to um, Instagram followers. Shout out to... Shout out to Hey Beautiful. Pass along. Right? Hey Beautiful. Shout out to Zay hey, Media. Hey. Shout out to Zay Media for mm-hmm. allowing, us to do the, allowing us to do the shout out to Still Magazine for sponsoring us. Ooh. Shout out to... Damn, there's a lot of shout outs. Food. To, shout out to Fooled by Food. Nathan, my series. Nathan, you can check it out. Um, shout out to uh, Fork Spoon and Shank, which is my cookbook. I mean, you can see it all. You know what I'm saying? All of the all of that, that that stuff that's right below here. Jack of all trades. All of that. Nathan, all right, check it out. Hey, you want to see um read a good book? Nathan, check out my first book, my autobiography, Myths, Memoirs, and Confessions of an Ex Felon. Actually, I'm gonna put that credit. I mean that uh link down there too. You can click on it and it'll take you right to how you can buy the book on Amazon. All right, um, we out of here. That's enough. We said enough. These batteries, this battery's about to die. Check us out next week for the bonus episode. I promise you, you don't want to miss it. Bonus I episode. promise you. This is one that's going to go down in history. We out. My homie. My homie. <laughs> she gave me a homie. <laughs>